So what can you tell us about next season? Legally? Yeah. Legally. Um, <laughs> what can we tell you about next season? Uh, I think probably the the biggest. So we still explore a lot of the mysteries that were that were put forward at the end of season one, being like drug trafficking and, and so on. Um, but. The it's end different of, show. It's a new show. Yeah, we we we've been given a lot more flexibility. It's really now that the show has has been has received the acclaim that it's received, and the fan base is there. Our writers and creative staff have been given a lot more flexibility to go way deeper into the genre elements of the show that we pushed for season one, which was a kind of neo noir teen drama that that was. I mean, we we put a heavy stand on our cinematography to set a tone for the show. And it was, it's really big. So season two for us is a lot of that same beautiful cinematography and the flexibility, a, a, a heightened flexibility for like the neon noir stuff, the, the, the sleuth stuff, the, the mystery, the, the stuff that makes you forget that we're teens. <laughs> it's dark, though, right? So I'm wondering, um, your character, um, Archie, how far, he's looking for revenge. Um, yeah. How far will he go? I think he's willing to go as far as, it, as he can. Um, he, he's, Archie is an extremely, um, when he when he wants to do something, he will do it, especially if, it, if his family or his friends are involved. Um, so, yeah, I think... And I have read, you know, a couple of the first episodes, and he goes pretty deep into it. Um, he's determined for, for his town and for his family and for his dad. His dad is like his number one guy. You know? The relationship between Archie and Fred, I feel like, is one of the um, one of the more admired uh, relationships of the show. People really love that relationship, and um, yeah, it means everything to him. And he will get, he will try his hardest to find revenge. In contrast, we know that Molly Ringwald is going to make more of an appearance in season two, so how is that relationship going to be between Archie and his mother? Because it was a little bit strained last season. It was a bit strained. I mean, I, I haven't really had the privilege to work with her as much as I wanted to, but uh, she's amazing, and I hope we can kind of work on that dynamic a little bit more, because I think um, it'll be interesting to see. But yeah, we haven't really seen too much of, of Molly. Anything to look forward to with uh, Jughead and Archie's friendship? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Big time. <laughs> I'm really for the friendship. Yeah. yeah. Archie, uh, Archie becomes this sort of force of like pure morality and, you know, uh, peace and vigilance and righteousness within the world and Jughead becomes a kind of character that knows sometimes you have to do bad to do good in the long run. And obviously that puts an intense strain on like the Justicar Archie that we're seeing. Um, and we, we, we really, we, we see the morality of, of Archie being flexed against Jughead quite a bit. With Jughead spending more time in the South Side, that's kind of what was teased last season. Um, can we expect, are you still going to be like the narrator? Are you still going to yes. like move the story along? So yeah, I, I'm still the narrator. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, the South Side becomes a, uh, a sort of the, the shadow of the North Side of Riverdale, and Jughead is being asked what it means to live like in that shadow, and how how it affects his relationship with the North Side as well. Will the two of you have an actual fight? Mm, I don't know. We've not like again. We don't we don't read that far ahead. We have to stay very present. I doubt that we would have fought though. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I don't know. We don't know what that might throw at Yeah, at this point, I mean, the stuff we're reading now is already it's way it's way more grave than the two of us having a, a petty fist fight or whatever it is. So I wouldn't put it off the table, but we haven't read it so. Yet.